All right, today we're gonna to talk about leverage in your life insurance telesales business. Guys, I am here in beautiful Scotland on the Royal Neighbors incentive trip. Been talking to a lot of agency owners and we've been talking a lot about leverage. And they may not think we're talking about leverage, but when I kind of narrow down the conversations and the topics, it's always centered around four pieces of leverage. And these are the conversations we're having about growing our business exponentially, how to do it. And it comes down to these four things I'm gonna talk about here. And it applies to independent agents, absolutely. And I want you guys to know these four leverage points that are mostly talked about at these sorts of incentive trips where you have the best of the best, right? The people who are putting up the best numbers out there. Now, these are conversations we have at dinner, at cocktail hour, on certain excursions, and they're all centered around four things, okay? Four pieces, what, I, what I'm calling leverage, because really this all this is is leverage. Leverage, first of all, is when you use a tool to push yourself forward, to get momentum, to be more efficient, okay? Lever using something to get more output from what you're currently getting from your business. That's what I mean by leverage, okay? So let's go into this. The first one, money. Money is leverage. This is a lot of what we talk about, how to properly use money. First thing for independent agents out there, money is the biggest weapon in this business. It's the biggest piece of leverage that you can have. But a lot of agents are, are spending scared money. They're scared they're buying leads or spending on marketing and they see that money go out but they're getting a ton of conversations. They may have not made a sale. They may have seen, they may have seen that as, hey, that money's out the window. I only didn't write anything, or maybe I wrote a policy, maybe I broke even, maybe I wrote a couple policies, you know, ROI is not there, but you had a bunch of conversations, you had a lot of opportunities. Guys, that's good investment, that's leverage in your business because the alternative to not spending money is working your warm market, hounding your friends and family, knocking on doors, business to business prospecting. If you, if you had an income goal of hitting maybe $8,000 in a month, you have $1,000 annual premium average, you gotta sell eight policies, two a week, how are you gonna get those without any leads, right? How are you, you, you're gonna have to hound people. You're gonna have to work your butt off. Unless you have an amazing, amazing network, you've gotta spend money on marketing and leads. That's just the era we live in, especially in the digital age where most relationships now have become more digital. So that's another piece to this. I'm seeing this guy right now, it's too far away probably for, for you guys to see, but he's, his head down is in his phone. Look, he's, he's in this beautiful, beautiful place, right? Got this lock behind us. It's basically a lake here in Scotland. And um, he's in his phone. Who knows what he's looking at, right? But his attention has gone to his phone, you know? And I say that because a lot of our relationships have gone more digital. Phone calls, FaceTime, Zoom, emails, text messages, WhatsApp, any social media platform, Facebook, Instagram, you know, Twitter, whatever it is. And so you don't really have those big networks. You don't have those networks to, to, to leverage anymore. So you have to use money in order to have more presentations, in order to get more clients, okay? That's what this is all about. When I have these conversations with other agency owners, it's about the, it's about how we can use money better to have more production okay and so that even goes with using other people's money using credit cards right guys i've talked about this before i'm going to say it again because it's it's topical here always use a credit card get the points right and buy yourselves 30 days of cash flow it's a no-brainer all right so if you you know when i talk to agents who are who are in the business and they you know like i don't have any more money for leads i'm like well did did you start this on a credit card because you should have money for leads if you do this right and you buy it on and you do it on a, even if you have the cash to do it do it on a credit card you're buying yourself 30 days of cash flow the sooner you understand the power in that the sooner you're going to become a very very savvy financial telesales agent okay so leverage point number 1 is money see it as leverage the agency owners here all see money as leverage. How can you best spend your money to bring in more business? Not what more can we do personally to, to bring in business, but how can we use money to spend, use money to 
to leverage more production, okay? So that's number one. Number two, technology. Technology, guys. So a lot of you are doing technology wrong. You should be able to log into a CRM and the next best opportunity pops up for you to call. And as you call your leads, text messages and emails go out. The whole point of leveraging technology is to get the cream to rise to the top, okay? That's it. Get the cream to rise to the top, get replies from text messages or emails so that you know who the hottest leads are and you can engage and present to them. That's it. It's not going to sell for you. Don't think technology is going to sell for you. We've tried it. It doesn't work that way. And you, you, you may see some success, right? Um, but it's not going to build a business for you that way. We're not there yet. We may never get there. I don't think we're ever going to get there. So a lot of agents are using technology like really, really poorly. And what I mean by that is they are you know, they have a CRM and so they, hey, I have technology because I have a CRM. Guys, that's not, that's not leveraging technology. You have technology, but you're not leveraging it, right? They may be getting leads to their emails and then inputting it into their CRM. All right, that is very inefficient. That is not leveraging technology. So technology is big. You can use it to contact your leads, to, you know, for your follow-ups, for your client base, um, to automate any sort of follow-up birthday cards or holiday cards or things like that, okay? So technology is another leverage point we're having lots of conversations about. Hey, what are you using for technology? What is it doing? What is, you know, what, what's working the best? These are the conversations agency owners are mostly asking me about, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a big piece of the business these days. And you have, to ha you have to be very efficient in technology because you're gonna get more output from yourself, okay? The same work that goes in, if you have technology working for you, you will get more output, you'll, you'll be more profitable. So always work on optimizing your technology. Even if you have something and it's working right now, mess around with some of the copy on your text messages or your emails, or add more text or emails to what's currently going out and see how that works, okay? Always be improving and leveraging technology. It's not a set it and forget it thing. It's always going to be evolving as well. So that's number two, technology. Number three is people. So what I mean from people is not recruiting, right? You're not leveraging people by recruiting and getting overrides. Because I've said this before, final expense recruiting and even mortgage protection recruiting, it's dead. Okay? I bet you couldn't find an agent that recruits that is longer than three years in the business that doesn't either make money on leads right? Selling you leads or has something on the back end where somebody's covering their, their uh, roll-up debt because roll-up debt is big. I just want to give you an example because this is the situation that happens to everyone. They go to recruit. They recruit their first few agents, right? And most agents fail in the first three months. They do. This business isn't for everybody. I think everybody knows this. So call 75% of agents fail in the first three months. They may write a few policies. They're gone. They're out of the business. You have, you know, five, 10 agents that maybe do that, those policies start falling off the books. Let's say you had a 15 point override on them. They sold a thousand dollar policy at a hundred percent commission. Maybe they got paid, I don't know. Just call it, they got paid a thousand dollars. You got paid $150 override, but that policy canceled, but they got the advance and that thousand dollars is gonna roll up to you. Even though you only got 150 bucks, you gotta pay that whole 150 bucks and a thousand dollars if it was the first month, just for example sake, right? that's going to keep happening with agents, right? Because they're going to be out of the business. They're not going to pay that back. They don't care because they failed out of the business. That's what happens, okay? That's the story that you're not being told. So when I say leverage people, I'm not talking about recruiting because recruiting for telesales when you have roll-up debt exposure is going to bury you. It's buried so many of my friends in this business. They thought it was the way and it really just didn't work out, okay? So what I'm talking about here is leveraging people in the form of virtual assistants, right? If you're six months in this business, you're doing well, you're profitable every month. Now get more profitable with your time. Give a virtual assistant that you pay maybe four to $6 an hour to start to do those non-revenue producing tasks, that service work, the conservation work, any sort of thing that does not involve sales should go to somebody else. That is how you can leverage and get more time and be more efficient. Okay. And that's one of the things we talk about with as agency owners here is leveraging people, the best way to leverage people. And 
it's one of the main things that you can do as you grow your business is to leverage people. Another example is licensed only agents. So commissions assigned to you, you have an agent that sells, but all the commissions go to you and you pay them, you know, a, a per app fee or a commission out of your pocket, right? Because then you own the business, you get all the renewals and you can cross sell it. You can get all the referrals from it. It's all yours, okay? So even if you had one LOA agent, you can become expen exponentially more profitable. You selling full-time next to an LOA agent that you're training up, they're not gonna be as good as you. That's fine, right? But you're gonna build them up. They're making money next to you, but you own all the business. That is the better model. That's the model where agents are doing very well with. Even if you only have one LOA agent, even if you have one, that's all you need, right? You can make 50% plus more in a year if you can figure that out. Find one person that you trust to do that, okay? Leverage people, whether you want a virtual assistant or even a, an onshore assistant from the States that maybe might cost 15, 20 bucks an hour, depending on where you're on the business. You have to start leveraging people to get more of your time back to do more high value work that brings in revenue, okay? So that's number three. Number four, and this is just because it's the digital age that we're in, that this has become more prominent. It's attention, leveraging attention. Everyone, not everyone here, a lot of the conversations here I'm having are about how to get more known, how to get more people to know who you are and the programs that you have, right? As independent agents, I'm not saying you should go out there and become an, a social media influencer. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying here is that you are getting attention when you, you have somebody's full attention on the phone when you make a sale. Your client base, they should, you should be in front of them at all times, right? You should be getting their attention as much as possible. And what I mean by that is sending thank you cards, welcome packets, you know, holiday cards. And I'm not saying to sell them something. I'm saying just to get your face with your family in front of them so they understand who you are. You know, a, a holiday letter that I love that people are doing, that, I, that I've seen, that I even get these from agents, is like, hey, here's what my family did this year. My daughter's in, you know, in third grade, you know, she had her first recital. You know, my son's in sports. He, you know, they, whatever it is, we went to these places, you know, bunch of pictures and give those every single year. I look forward to those. The, there's people I don't even know who send me these agents included and they send them to their clients and I love them I open them every year even though I've never met them I've talked to them on the phone I've never met them and I feel close to them because I know what they're doing and I see it every year and I love getting them and I read them because it's 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 thoughtful right keep people's attention so go the extra mile to really keep in touch with your clients okay text messages emails phone calls um, like not to sell them a lot, but just so you're front of mind. A lot of people will, will friend them on social media as well so that they understand what they're up to. If you're not comfortable with that, make a separate profile. They'll find them and engage with their lives as well. Shoot, have your VA do that for you. Okay, so attention. And these are, you know, like I said, these are the things that high growth agencies are doing to, you know, and see as leverage. They leverage money, they leverage technology, they leverage people and they leverage attention. So if you can think about your business and focus on these points of leverage and just getting incrementally better, okay? So being more savvy with your money, not spending scared money if that's you right now, or with technology, optimizing your technology to get more efficient to get better results. See what others are doing. Talk to other agents. Hey, what's working for you? Where are you getting the best responses from, right? What are you saying? People, okay? Keep that in the back of your mind when you're ready for that, to hire somebody, because that is the next logical step where you can create a lot more freedom in the business and be more efficient, and then attention, so that you are front of mind anytime somebody thinks about life insurance. That's the goal. All right, guys, leverage. Leverage, that's gonna make you a higher growth agency if you can think in that sort of mindset um, when you're going through your business, all right? And maybe next year, I'll be able to see you on one of these trips with these other high growth agencies and um, 
that's all I got guys. Cheers. And until the next video.